director of the Michigan Shakespeare Festival, Jan Blixt. Hi, Jan. Hi, thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. Yeah, welcome back. How many years for the Michigan Shakespeare Festival? Well, this is our 20 uh, seventh season, but we had the two dark years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that was rough. Awesome. So we are all 100% uh, of the shows are in uh, Canton they this are. summer. They are this yeah. summer. Um, for many years, we were able to split between Jackson and Canton, but our theater here in Jackson is under repair right now, mm -hmm. and so we're waiting to see how that all works out. So right now, all of our shows are at the Village Theater in Canton, which is on Cherry Hill Road, and there's a, cre a Cold Stone Creamery across the street that I people know. are really liking. Yes. So, you know, come in, have some ice cream, see a show. Yeah, it's a cool little uh, downtown-ish yeah. type area. And uh, if you go over, uh, maybe go over a little early and just drive around. It's really cool uh, sightseeing. I agree. Uh, all right, uh, what are the shows for All right, this so year? the big one, we always do one big name one that everyone knows is Shakespeare, mm -hmm. and this year it's Macbeth. Macbeth. And yes, it's okay, I can say it out loud. <laughs> it's all right. This is not a theater. I'm producing it though, okay. and when you're in production or rehearsing, you can, you can say, say it. it. Yes, okay. exactly, so that's how we get around all of the people who get all scared <laughs> when we say it. So um, we're doing it kind of 1040. It's, it's, the fights in it are incredible. They're big, epic battles, and it, you know, it starts with a big, epic battle when the Scots are throwing the Norwayans out of the country, and Macbeth shows himself to be a great war leader, and we're all proud of him. So we start the show with him being a great guy. And then things start to oh, yeah. deteriorate. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a, it is a dark show. I'm sure you're seeing the pictures up there. But it's, it's really pretty, and it's really it's All right, so this nice. show. Yeah, this is what you're seeing. That's yeah. Mac. Now, you, uh, the organization uh, Michigan Shakespeare, actually brought stage fighting to Michigan. You, you've been teaching. We have been. Yeah. Yeah. People are learning it from you. You guys are masters. Ah, that's it. moved on to Pericles. That shot is Pericles. Our second show this year is Pericles. A lesser known, people don't know it very well, and I think some people, that's Mac again, are a little, <laughs> are a little bit afraid of it. But it's, it's a lovely, uh, uh, Pericles is a lovely, comical, kind of Mediterranean um, adventure. Um, Prince Pericles is off to find a wife, and he finally meets the love of his life, and they get married, and there's a shipwreck, and he thinks mm -hmm. she's died. And so the second part of the story follows his daughter. But it's not a tragedy? It is not a tragedy no. because everyone is unified. Spoiler and it's happy. alert. Yeah, well, 400 <laughs> years later, if it's still a spoiler, there's not a lie I can do. Although I would say don't look up this one on Wikipedia because the Act 1 stuff is really Jacobean, gross, icky. Oh. We've cut all of that okay. because we're just not doing it. So you do have artistic license yes. with a Shakespeare show. Well, with dead playwrights. You get to yes. do a little editing <laughs> yeah. if you need to. Um, and truthfully, Pericles is one of those shows that could run about four hours long. So the, uh, a modern audience is not interested no. in that. So we are no able, time for ice cream. No time for ice cream if you're going to do four hours. So we're feeling pretty good about just getting rid of some of that early stuff that, that Jacobean audiences really liked because <laughs> they had a grisly sense of sensibility. And modern audiences would be very turned off by. So we just jettisoned it. It's gone. All right, two Shakespeare plays, mm -hmm. and every summer you do uh, one that's not Shakespeare. One that's not, and this year it is Fado's A Flea in Her Ear. Mm. Um, French farce set uh, <coughs> Belle Epoque, which is 1907. It is, if you like a shows like Frasier, like smart sitcoms, this mm. really is the birth of that. You know, it is um, mistaken identity. It is everyone kind of miscommunicates what they want with their partners. So by the second act, people are running around uh, willy-nilly through a Paris hotel being silly hmm. and trying to figure out how to put their lives <coughs> back together. Excuse me, so what year comes. is, is uh, a flea in her ear set? 1907, and so you're gonna see the beautiful Belle Epoque Parisian costumes. Mm -hmm. You know, all of that is really lovely. The set is a little more spare because there's so much that has to happen in it. It's a little, but you're gonna mm -hmm. love the costumes and it is so funny. We've got uh, Sean Fouch who played Hamlet for us and everyone loves mm -hmm. and Robert Kozlerik who is our Richard II who everybody loves and the two of them are just wacky hilarious funny in that show. So the names they seem familiar perhaps to you yeah. because they you've been how long have you been? I've with? been the AD since 2010. Oh my. Yeah. This, <laughs> technically you know 
13th season, but mm -hmm. you know, a couple were dark. But yeah, you're, if, if you are a fan of the festival, you're gonna see a lot of faces that you recognize and love. Alan Ball is back this year, and both Rob and Sean, who I mentioned, David Blixt is back this year. People tend to love him. Um, but then we also have uh, Rico Bruce Wade, the comedian out of Detroit. He's in it this year, and he's wonderful. And we've got Warren Jackson playing Pericles, who is someone that Rob and I worked with back in Chicago when we were like brand new baby actors in our early 20s. And he's gone on to do all kinds of stuff. And now he's come to us and is playing Pericles. So we've got just a great lineup of artists. Yeah, that's neat. So many, uh, everyone knows that um, Saturday Night Live uh, was born out of Chicago mm -hmm. uh, theater and uh, Michigan Shakespeare Festival, same thing. A little bit. What we try and do actually is we're working really hard to bring Michigan actors who mm. leave to go to other markets uh -huh. like Chicago or New York and then bring them and back. bring them back for the summer. So we've got Sarah Leahy, for instance, who's you know born and bred Ypsilanti girl, and she went off to New York. She's back this summer. David Blixt, born and bred Ann Arbor boy, he's back for the summer. We got Rico out of Detroit. We, so we we really try. Last year, our Henry Five, Sam Hubbard, was you know local guy, and again left to go to L.A. to make movies. Mm -hmm. Brought him back for the summer. So we're we're trying to bring. Honestly, they're all loving being able to see their families, too. Yeah, and I think, uh, didn't Sam Hubbard uh, do some time with Purple Rose? Mm -hmm. He's done a couple shows yeah. there. Right, a lot of our people are in and out and do a lot of that. So yes, we have, uh, I will say a definite, I, I will say we have a, a spice of Chicago. I say we have, you know, a <laughs> sousson of Chicago careers, but a lot of our people, it's because uh, the Michigan professional theater world if, if you want to really make a career and not go into academia, you end up you going to, to bigger markets. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Uh, it's going to be um, just a very horrible time for uh, anyone in creative uh, arts, in it, it is film or TV. I right? will say we are not on strike. I get asked this all the time. Yeah. Like if you come to see our shows, are you crossing a picket line because of the SAG mm -hmm. strike? You are not. They are on strike against motion pictures and television mm -hmm. producers, not against us. And right. most of our company is also SAG. So we support the union and we've had our actors out on the picket strike or out on the mm -hmm. picket line doing that. But the shows at the Michigan Shakespeare Festival are not a part of that. So you're not crossing the picket line. Good. You're supporting. You are supporting the, artists. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, you had some great audiences the first weekend. Yeah, which we just did. happened. So mm -hmm. you've got how many? Three more a week? Four. Four. Yeah. Uh, Flea opens this weekend. We're in mm -hmm. tech again for tomorrow. So as of this weekend, all three shows will be open. And then they're going to run for an additional three weeks after that. So we go through August 20th. So people can go to any one or all three. Mm -hmm. You get a discount if you go to all three. I got to tell you, it's kind of cool to do. <laughs> Now, are there opportunities where you've got a matinee of one show and a different show at night? That's how it's always set up, yeah. Okay. So you can see a show on Friday, the two shows on Saturday, mm -hmm. and see all three shows. Or you can see the two shows on Saturday and then see the third show on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We make sure that it's broken up that way. Or, for instance, this year we have a matinee, Wednesday matinees. You can see all three shows because we've got the three Wednesday matinees and mm -hmm. of the different shows. We work really hard to make it as easy as possible on people to come in and see them. Because we do end up with a lot of people coming uh, down from, we have, we have a van of people who comes down every year from the Sioux. And mm -hmm. yeah, they stay in a hotel and they come and see all the shows. Uh, we've got people coming up from Ohio, we have people coming in from Canada, we have a lot of people coming in, so we try and make sure we can get them all in there. Mm -hmm. So if you've never been, uh, maybe this is the year you should. It's, it's a great year. If you don't know Shakespeare, or if you're in any way afraid of Shakespeare, I always recommend Macbeth, because mm -hmm. it, is, it is the clearest storyline, it is, there's no subplots that are weird, and it's, you will suddenly realize, oh, I understand what they're mm -hmm. saying. This isn't terrifying or, or arcane language. And it's okay to say it because you Because are we're the producing director. it, exactly. Yes. yes. Uh, Jan is actually a uh, director of I uh, am. Macbeth. And, and a flea in her ear. <laughs> busy, busy. <laughs> uh, all the uh, actors, they're, they're in all three shows, pretty yes. much, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they learn their lines and change. And it's, it's amazing if you want to see uh, Professional theater at its finest, uh, you'll want to go to the Michigan Shakespeare Festival. Uh, tickets at uh, online or? Uh, online, absolutely. You can go to yeah. michiganshakespearefestival.com and that front page will take you to tickets for any show that you want. Um, yeah. Great. Have a great run. Thank you. 
the artistic director of the Michigan Shakespeare Festival, Jan Blixt.